Welcome back to CurrentAds.org. Today we're going to be continuing our series, Varieties of Voting Systems. In this video, we'll be looking at the board account. Now, the board account assigns points to each preference, with each voter's top choice being given the most points and the last choice being given the least points. There are two ways to do this. The first, we assign zero points to the last choice, one point to the second to last choice, and so on and so forth up to the first place choice. There's another way to do that, such that you assign one point to the last choice and continue in the same manner going up, but both of those systems, at least under the constraints we're looking at, will provide you with the same winners and the same social choices. However, there's another version of the board account proposed by Nauru that the first choice is given one point, the second choice is given half a point, the third choice is given one-third of a point, the fourth is given one-fourth of a point, and so on and so forth. Once these points are given, the points for each candidate are totaled up, and the candidate with the most points at the end wins. Take a look at these ballots. A through G are voters, H through K are candidates. First past the post, instant runoff voting, Hume's rule, and in fact, all other voting systems, other than dictatorship, will pick I. Because I not only has a plurality of votes, of first place votes, I has an outright majority. The board account, on the other hand, will not. Let's take a look at why. So I is going to pick up a total of 12 points, with four first place votes giving it three points for each of those, and only and three last place votes giving it zero points for each of those, so a total of 12 points. K is going to pick up seven. K has three third place votes, that gives it a point each for each of those, and two second place votes, two points for each of those, and two last place votes getting zero points for each of those, so a total of seven points. J is going to get six points with four third place votes for a point each, one second place vote for two points, and two last place votes for zero points each. And finally, H is going to get a whopping 17 points with three first place votes for three points each and four second place votes for two points each. H is declared the winner in the board account even though all of our other systems would pick I because I has more first place votes. And it's even going to win if we use the Nauru point system, though it will be much closer. H has five points, I has four and three quarters points, K has two and a half points, J has two and one third points. You'll notice that the Nauru system puts more emphasis on those first place votes. First place votes get you a little bit more on the Nauru system than on the board account. But it's interesting to note that this isn't always the case that the board account and the Nauru board account line up. There are going to be situations in which they don't. Take a look at the presidential example. Nauru's board account will leave us with a different winner that we haven't seen yet. Trump is going to in fact be declared the winner. Trump's going to have 2 and 11 over 12 points. Clinton will have 2 and 5, 6 points. Stein, 2 and a third. And Johnson, 2 and a third as well. Feel free to check my math on that if you think it's incorrect. But it seems to me that Trump is going to outscore all of the other candidates and therefore be declared the winner were we to use this voting system. What I want you to do is give it a try with the original board account. Try it yourself on the presidential example. Ooh! And a bit of a spoiler, for Coombs' rule on the last problem, Stein will be the winner. Check out the previous video if you're curious as to what that's all about. As we said with Nauru, Trump is going to win. So just take a second and look at this. We have already, with these different systems, four different outcomes. We have Clinton tying Trump, Clinton winning, Stein winning, and Trump winning. In these different systems, the votes haven't changed. The system that we use to count the votes has. In the next videos, we'll look at Buckland voting, the Condorcet method, and dictatorship. That was the board account. Next up is Buckland voting. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.